So why the heck do we want this? Well, what this is going to do is allow us to say, okay, even though the character is this big, this is the area that you want to use to for him to react to the game. And I'll show you guys that later on. So the first thing we actually need to do is we need to set the origin and image points. So if you go to this tool right here, you see the origin is in the middle. We don't want that. So press two. And now, just like before, since we pretty much want this block to mirror the player in a way, press two and now it's on the bottom center. Now we can actually close out of here now that we got our block exactly how we want it. And actually I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better what I'm gonna do. So now what you wanna do is you wanna take this square and gonna unsnap this and you wanna hover it right over the player. And now with your little scale tools, scale this box exactly, it doesn't need to be exactly, but pretty much to surround where the player's body is. And essentially you guys can probably see what we're gonna do already. But basically we're gonna tell the game, okay, this is the user's main body. So we don't wanna crop this or else it's gonna delete like his arm and stuff. So we're gonna say keep this animation or this image for the player but whenever you're reacting to things in the game, like enemies standing on this platform right here, use this blue box. So that's what we're going to be doing. And before we actually get to the intelligence of that, we need to set a couple properties for it. So the first thing I want to do is actually select this box. And the first thing we should do is obviously, since we don't want the player to see this in the game, set the initial visibility to invisible. So right now it's visible, of course, showing in the game, and set it to invisible. And even though it's still going to display in your game developer, whenever you play this, obviously the blue box is now invisible. Now another thing that I want to do is I want to add a platform behavior to this box. Pretty much make it, pretty much say that, okay, we're going to be using this in platform game. And I'll talk more about behaviors later on, but for now, this is how you do it. So once you have it selected in the behavior section, click behaviors and it doesn't have any behaviors yet. This box is just a box. How do we want it to behave? Well, let's add a new one. And what we want to choose right now is platform. So if you scroll down to platform, it can say, and whenever you uh, highlight these, it gives you a little description below, jump and run between platform, AKA solid objects. Well, that's, that's what it's going to do, as we're going to see later on. So click that. And now, once you have it selected, you can see that we actually have a couple settings right here that we can adjust. Now, the first thing we want to adjust is the jump strength. And this is another thing that you're pretty much just going to have to experiment with. But a good place to start is a jump strength of 1,100 and also a gravity of 2,500. Now hit Enter and... You can close out of that right now. And actually, there's other one thing that I can do in this tutorial. If you select this box, and we can actually add another behavior right now. What we want to do is we want to have the screen follow this player. So what we can do is, I don't know if you guys remember from my last tutorial, but whenever we move this player, we just don't want him like walking off the screen. We want the camera to follow him. So make sure you have your box selected. Who is texting me? Let me read this. My friend Rolf. Okay. He said, go to Google and type in people coughing. That sounds like uh, something I do not want to do, but I'm probably going to do it uh, later on. So I should, I'll actually tell you guys in the next video what I found if you don't find it already. So anyways, what were we talking about? Have the camera follow the dude. So we want to add another behavior. Are you freaking kidding me? More freaking text messages add another behavior and this one is called scroll to behavior and it says always center the view of this object and or excuse me or at the midpoint of multiple objects pretty much saying have the camera follow the dude simple enough so those are all the behaviors that we want to add right now so now we actually don't even need to adjust any of the properties for that just close and we now have a blue box surrounding the guy so Again, 
it's not all that impressive but you guys are gonna understand later on why I did that and why it is incredibly important and also I'm gonna be showing you guys how to associate this image with this box right here it's gonna be awesome believe it or not so thank you guys for watching and uh, in the next tutorial well guys sorry I have to go Google people coughing right now so I'll see you later